Hello everyone, my name is Heather Autumn and welcome to my channel. Today we are at the Lowell Telemedia Center to check out a photo exhibition. So while I was filming for the Orchid Festival, I actually met someone named Nancy and she does photography. And she was telling me about how she was going to have an exhibition later in the year. And so now's the time. I was supposed to go to the grand opening, which was on Thursday, but I wasn't feeling exactly right. And because I just got back from the anime convention, I wanted to make sure I didn't catch something like a cold or a flu and I pass it around and all. So I couldn't go to that. But today they're having a really cool reception and we can still check out a lot of her photos and things like that and also I hardly hang out in Lowell so with that I'm here early so let's get some breakfast check this place out it's an old-fashioned diner they do cash only but I saw a couple of their photos online and it looked like they had some really good breakfast items so I'm gonna check that out I was just told that this is one of the oldest diners in this town. It's been running for like three generations. Third generation. Third generation. So can you tell me more about this diner? Yep, it was brought in in uh, 1933. My grandfather took it over in 38. 20 years later they had the dining room. Uh, I love working with the people. So you're one of the chefs here? Yep. And what is your favorite to cook? Omelets. <laughs> Omelets or the pancakes. Okay. People love the pancakes. <laughs> a great little diner. <laughs> Their food was awesome. I think I spent around $14.75 was the bill and that was for an Eggs Benedict with two cups of coffee. They did a really good job and the Eggs Benedict had this really thick cut slice of ham so they didn't skimp on anything but they've been around for all this time. I never knew they existed so nice to stop by such a historical location. Now that breakfast is done, we're gonna head to the Lowell Telemedia Center, which is this building right here, and check out this really cool photography exhibit.
So things are just starting here. I was lucky because the event that was supposed to happen on Thursday was moved to today. So I'm really excited about that. All of these photos were taken by Nancy. She's a wonderful person. I met her actually at the Orchid Festival, which I will link either here or here if you want to see that episode. But her and I started talking because we're both artists and she told me about this event. And the proceeds from some of the sales are going to a family in Guatemala who have a son who has leukemia as well as Down syndrome. So that all goes to a good cause. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna show you some of her pieces. They're absolutely beautiful. And then hopefully we can get a quick interview with her because I know she's gonna be busy today. got one of her photos and love this one. I've been looking for like beach scenes and things like that. And the reason I like this one so much is that it looks shiny, but it's all because of the lighting in the photo. So she didn't put any overlays or anything like that. So it's beautiful and it's really reasonably priced. This was $15. She has ones that are bigger that have nice frames and those are a little bit more expensive. But this one, I just love the composition of it. I like the colors in it. So if you see any photos that you like, please be sure to check the description because I'm gonna have her email there and uh, you can ask her if she has any of those left for purchase. She does ship. She's a wonderful photographer and a wonderful person. And uh, yeah, I'm having a lot of fun. Oh, thank you, my name is Nancy Peña and I'm the director of Colores Latinos TV here in Lobo. And you took all of these photos? Yes, yeah, so thank you for being here today. Uh, we are celebrating these um, photos that I took all the time. I took these photos during my walking. I have a very stressful job, so oh, I guess yeah. I work with oncology patients. You know, sometimes you don't have good news all the time, right? Yeah. I don't force myself, but I like to go outside every 15 minutes or maybe every other hour to go outside just to disconnect yeah. from my job. And that's why I started to take those photos. And you said that this photo here is your favorite. Yes, I think I have a relationship with this uh, red-tailed uh, hawk because uh, you know, he's just beautiful. He or she, I don't know, right? To be <laughs> yeah. he or she. He's so elegant. Sometimes they bring me some peaceful also. So they, you know, all animals and plants bring me peace. So I think that's what I really enjoy about this uh, exhibition. That's wonderful. So the exhibition is open for the whole month of April. So you are welcome to come in Lowell. And we are going to be here from uh, today's Saturday 6 to April 30. And you can visit uh, my website. It's uh, coloreslatinostv.com. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the interview and thank you for being here today. <laughs> so if you'd like to check out any of her photos or works, please see the description below where I'll have everything linked. So today is an overcast, cold day. And every now and then, just like anyone else, I have these moments where I'd rather stay indoors than go out. But I promise you, I have yet to be disappointed by leaving my home and going and doing something fun. So I'm so happy that Nancy invited me to her exhibition. It was gorgeous and there's so many friendly people there. The empanadas were amazing. Just really good, authentic food. And I love this picture that I bought. When I think of Massachusetts, I think of just the coastal town vibe. And I feel like this is an embodiment of that. And it's nice because if I ever leave here, I definitely want something that I can remember Massachusetts by. So thank you, Nancy. So of course, if you'd like to check out her photos or even maybe purchase one yourself, definitely be sure to check the description below because I'm gonna link to her website as well as her email so you can contact her. So it is still very cold and I have a lot of editing to do. So I'm gonna head home. I hope you enjoyed this as well and it made you curious about the small little things that are happening in your town. So thanks again for watching and I will see you next Sunday with a new episode. All right, bye.